Once upon a time, in a small town, there lived a young and innocent boy named Ethan. He had a heart full of curiosity and a mind eager to learn. Every day, Ethan would attend school excitedly, armed with an insatiable thirst for knowledge. However, as fate would have it, Ethan found himself in a classroom under the guidance of a teacher named Ems. Thompson. Unlike the other nurturing and dedicated teachers in the school, Ems. Thompson was indifferent towards her students and had little interest in cultivating their potential. From the first day of class, Ethan noticed that Ems. Thompson prioritized a select few students whom she considered, bright, and, promising. These students received all her attention and praise, while the rest, including Ethan, were often overlooked and neglected. Despite his longing for guidance and encouragement, Ethan's queries went unanswered. He would timidly raise his hand, only to be ignored or brushed off by a dismissive wave of M's. Thompson's hand. While the, bright, students thrived under her tutelage, Ethan's confidence gradually faded, leaving him feeling invisible and insignificant. Ethan's classmate noticed his struggle and empathized with his situation. Realizing that they, too, desired more from their education, they decided to stand up for Ethan. Together, they approached Ems. Thompson and shared their concerns about Ethan's neglect. Initially putting on a facade of innocence, Ems. Thompson listened half-heartedly and assured the students that she would pay more attention to Ethan. Yet, days turned into weeks, and nothing changed. It became apparent that Ems. Thompson's promises were empty. Undeterred, the students decided to take matters into their own hands. They formed a study group and started to help one another with their studies, including Ethan. They stayed back after school, creating a supportive environment where everyone's questions and doubts were heard. As the study group flourished, Ethan began to regain his confidence. He found solace in the belief that his classmate cared about his growth and development. With their help, his grades improved, and his thirst for knowledge blossomed even more. Word about the study group reached the principal, who was disheartened to learn about M's. Thompson's neglect towards Ethan. Recognizing the potential within the young boy, the principal decided to take action. After a thorough investigation and a series of evaluations, it was concluded that M's. Thompson's conduct was unacceptable. The school administration made the difficult decision to replace her with an enthusiastic and nurturing teacher who genuinely cared about every student. With the new teacher, Ethan finally found the support he so desperately needed. Surrounded by a caring and attentive academic environment, he blossomed and thrived. His natural curiosity and love for learning were nurtured, allowing him to achieve remarkable success. Years later, as Ethan stood on the stage delivering his valedictorian speech, he expressed gratitude for his classmate and the study group that had come together to support him in his time of need. He acknowledged that their actions had ignited a fire within him, proving that no matter the circumstances, one's potential could always be realized given the right environment and support. And so, the innocent boy who had once felt neglected became the embodiment of resilience and determination, forever reminding others of the significance of a supportive community and the power of standing up for what is right.